ever Blood Mouse Christmas special. I'm Emma. And I'm Grace. How are you feeling today, Grace? I'm good, thank you, Emma. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, are you excited for Christmas? I am so excited for Christmas. I've got one deadline left and it's at four o'clock today. I know. Today, I, can't I, wait. Wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, four months of hectic back-to-back -back work. It's just, can't wait to just have a nice month off. A nice break chill. to sleep. Yes. My, my flatmates yes. have got their sleep schedule so bad, like, they literally go to bed at, like, 11am in the morning and sleep till, <laughs> like, 6pm, oh so they're up God. all night, and I just, I love them all, don't get me wrong, but I cannot wait to go to bed and I'm not be, like, a party going on in the living room, <laughs> that would be much appreciated. <laughs> I mean, usually I go in and join in, and then I'm tired the next day, so yeah. it's a really, doesn't really work out, and what are your flatmates like at this time? They're fine. I mean, like, obviously, because Christmas is like everyone's leaving at minute, so my fly is just dead because there's like four people in when there's normally about seven. Yeah. So uh, I think we're all in the kitchen yesterday, and I looked around and like it just looks so empty because everyone's yeah. gone home. It is really weird because like you're so used to like so many people being there, and then suddenly everyone's going, and it feels so quiet. I know it does. I know. Oh, I don't like it though. It's too quiet. Like. <laughs> no, I think there's there's four of us in our flat left. Two of them have gone home and I forgot my key card yesterday and um, I had to message the flat group chat. It took them literally like 20 minutes then to reply because everyone else was at home. So the people who usually reply have gone home. So someone else had to come meet me at the end. <laughs> I was like, they were like, Emma, have you forgot your key card? I was like, yeah. Oh my God. The amount of times I've done it. I was like, if I forget it when I'm the only one in, I'm stuffed. Yeah. Deep in it. Have you ever forgot your key card? Oh, many times. I mean, I've had to go down to the recep like main reception to like, pay seven pound for a new key card oh no tell you what are the worst thing is, I'm not, keys keys i always mm. keep mine on my normal key so it's with my tesco club card so i'm fine smart smart honestly you know because i have i think i have three keys in my room currently because i always lose them always lose them but for well christmas when i'm at home i'm gonna have it on me and it's gonna be okay I'm gonna <laughs> <my key. laughs> so for this part of the show we are going to be talking about a different aspect of uni life um, so you as an audience can get a bit of a taster of what it's really like. For this week's special, we're going to be talking about something Christmassy related. Which is that now it's time to rest. All of the work, well, we've got one more deadline, has been submitted. After a long four months of uni work, we can just have a good three to four weeks just having a good chill over the holidays. Oh, I actually can't wait. I can't wait. I just want to sleep in. I want to sleep in till like... I just want to sleep until like 12 o'clock mm. and no one judge me saying you've missed lectures, you've done this. I just I just want to sleep in. See, I don't really sleep in. That's my negative thing about me is that I'm not very, like I like to be up and like doing things. I don't know, I don't sleep in, it's really bad. I wish I did. So I want to learn to do more. It sounds weird, but like it is. But I just can't wait to just go home and just see the family. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so one of the many aspects of Blabbermouth is where me and Emma go to different coffee shops each week and rate them based on the coffee and the bakes they serve, as well as how we found studying. But as it's the end of the semester, it's time to see the overall winner as well. Um, so this week we went to GK Gallery, which is like a 10-15 minute walk away from the university. So let's play the VT. Yeah, let's play the VT. <laughs> We're just on our way. We're going to what? GK Gallery Davis. So um, yeah. And it's like only like a two minute walk, something like that. Like about a five, about five, ten minute walk from the Teal Park campus. Yeah, so I, I'm my two minutes with it. Well, yeah. <laughs> five, ten minute walk. <laughs> five, ten minute walk um, to from Salford University. So easy to get to. So I'm excited because this might be regular. It looks so cute. We are so excited. Thanks. So we are outside GK Gallery. Oh, it's so cute. It looks so cute. I'm so excited. And I've seen a lot of like the things on Instagram, like vegan yeah. cakes and everything like that. So I'm like, I'm just looking through a window and it looks so good. Like, what are you so feeling? Excited. I'm also gonna get like a caramel latte. Or <laughs> like, that's See my if you thing. actually get it all caramel. Yeah, like I'll not one. get a cold brew this time because that's a mistake I made last time. What are we thinking today? Am I going for a cappuccino? Oh. Yeah, I think you should because that's your thing going for <laughs> Look, I'm rating so. them now. Unless we're going to break it up for Christmas episode. That's true. It's the Christmas episode. So <laughs> let's go get it. <laughs> Like 
the chocolate is so nice. And then this is the coffee. I'm gonna say it's like. <laughs> Good one to finish with. Try the cake. Oh, wait, do you want to do it separately? Yeah. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. Look at the little candy cane. Can I have one? I think that one's broken up. Again. I need to get some chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got the chocolate. This is really hard. <laughs> oh, God. oh my god. Oh god. Mm -hmm. So you're <laughs> Oh my god. So how did you find GK Gallery Grace? I really liked it. I really it was liked so it. So cute. Because it was like it was really quiet. I mean, I don't know if it was to do with the time that we went, but because we went to well, about twelve ish, so that yes, is normally a busy yeah. time. But it was really like it was small and you were cute. And there were just barely any people there. So even if like you didn't have your headphones, it'd be really easy to study. Yeah, yeah. and they had a little note actually. I did take photos of them and stuff like this. It was like, um, we really oh, like you yeah. studying here. But obviously that moved to, if we get busy, then moves to somewhere quieter, which I quite liked. But I really liked it. It reminded me a lot of my cafe at home that I work <laughs> at. Like it was just so chill, like everything's freshly baked. And that's literally yeah. what I do. Like there's a lot of different options, like vegan, gluten-free. And at my cafe, we like special, like, cause we just basically bake all day. Like I'm so excited to go back to work. Yeah. I don't, I'm not even that good of a baker, but I like sell them and just like make, yeah. oh, it was so nice. I mean, one of the things we noticed when we went is that like behind the counter is literally like a mini kitchen. And she was saying, oh yeah, I've got like, I've just made a lemon drizzle. I'm like, whoa. Um, they had lots of festive options as well, yeah. which we found. So we both went festive cakes and I literally, yeah. my cake was so good. It was like, not to sound like I'm like, Crew or Paul on mm. Bake Off, but it was like, <laughs> it was so like moist and it was just uh, proper, <laughs> proper little cake, so, honestly. Yeah, um, but what oh, rating did you give I gave it? it an eight and you gave it a nine. I gave it a nine, I loved it. It did remind me of home, so. Let's, yes. Should we should we move on? Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so this week we're going to do some more Would You Rather's, but Christmas edition. So we've come up with these on our own, and we've also had some shown on our tick um, our TikTok, our Instagram. <laughs> Maybe we start on a TikTok. So would you like to start with the Would You Rather? Um, yeah. So we'll start with the ones that were handed in because we obviously last one on our Instagram. Um, so the one that I had. Um, so, so someone sent in uh, Adam on Instagram. Uh, one of his was, um, would you rather not have Christmas dinner or no presents to open? I think I would rather, like I feel like Christmas is about, the, I don't know, for me, Christmas dinner is the most important part of Christmas. Yeah. So I feel like I would rather have no Christmas presents to open because then at least I see everyone else open them. And my birthday's quite Christmas because Christmas anyway. Yeah. So it's like I would still have presents, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, um do you, what about you? I'd rather have no presents than have Christmas dinner. Okay. Cause I love that. Because Christmas dinner is just it's just what Christmas is about. Tell isn't you what it? though, I met someone yesterday, um, in the SU. They have chicken on their Christmas dinner. No, you have turkey. You have turkey. I'm that's it. that's it. Turkey. Okay, so this one um has come from uh Joe. And he said, would you rather have your ex round for Xmas dinner or be photographed kissing your granddad on New Year's? This feels <laughs> like a bit of a weird one. It is. It's an extremely weird one. Um, I just, I don't even know how you come up with this question, to be honest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what would you rather, Grace? I'm going to go for the ex. The ex? Because I'd be able to out him in front yeah. of everyone. And that's all I've wanted to do. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, hmm, actually, I'd like to make a toast. Yeah. <laughs> what about I you? I feel like, you know, you could, there's a lot of people on Christmas dinner, so you could end up just, like, talking to everyone, and it's okay. Like, you don't have to be talking to that one person. Do you mm. know what I mean? If that makes sense. Uh, do you want to know one? Yeah. 
so this one, I actually love this one. Would you rather be an elf or a reindeer? Oh, a reindeer. Really? I want to fly. <laughs> I want to fly. Love it. Like literally every single Christmas, they're just like riding around. They get to see the whole world. Reindeer. Reindeer. Right. What about you? Um, I'd rather be an elf. Yeah, yeah, because I just think it'd be very cute. Like you just make toys. I just think it'd be so cute. Like you get to like you get to know Santa personally, don't you? True, but as a reindeer, you also do. Fair deals, but I'm still sticking my elf. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more anyway. Okay. Uh, so would you rather? I actually quite this one. This one's quite interesting. Would you rather cook the big Christmas dinner every year or clean up the dishes every Christmas? Cook it. Really? I can't stand cleaning. I cannot stand cleaning. I think it's too much pressure. It's way too much pressure for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I worked in hospitality and I got I want cleaning, I can't, I can't stand it. I can't Ooh. stand it. Can't yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So this week, after mine and Emma's little coffee date uh, or trip, I headed into Manchester for the Christmas markets. So the other day I went to the Christmas markets in Derby. So we're going to compare which one we think is best. I'm on my way to the Manchester Christmas market, super excited to go um, and get some like hot chocolate and some like little goodies and that. So we'll uh, let's go. Christmas markets, I bought a cookie pie from one of the stalls, so I bought it for so we could try it. Oh, I'm excited. Honestly. Get to see the live tribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we usually film it. Yeah, I actually love this because the stall that I saw, like, they literally had waffles, muffins, co like cookie pies. They had like massive gingerbread houses in the background. And, oh, I loved it. It was so pretty. I got some fudge from the Christmas markets in Manchester, actually. It was really good. Did you? I'm not usually a fudge lover, but I generally, I think I'm obsessed. I ate it so fast as well. I ate it in two days, like, <laughs> like six pieces. Yeah. It was about 20 quid for two packs, but... It's worth, worth it. it. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so should we try? Let's try the cookie pies. I mean, this is gonna be like a massive ick because I just think eating stuff on camera is such a massive ick. I know. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to actually, actually eat nicely. Okay. <laughs> Can we just talk about right? Talk about the layers again. Yeah. Girl, my, it looks, Paul Hollywood. Oh my god, it's like. But. <laughs> The layers in that. Because it's just like, because it's Kinder Bueno, this one. And it's like, it's got the Kinder Bueno filling in the middle. I don't even know how to start. Right. Okay, right. I'm going to take, oh shoot. Sure. I'm going to break it up. Oh my God, it's. Oh. You're going to break it up and I'm just going to take a massive bite of it. Okay, wait, are you ready? Three, three, I'm two, so scared. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really think this through, the talking's a bit difficult. Mm hmm. The mousse. The mousse. <laughs> it's a bit of the middle. <laughs> okay. It's dropped to the top of my mouth. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe I'll just like talk the rest of it at this point. <laughs> I, oh, it's really nice. You know, I've never had cookie pie before. I'm just eating my slice. I, I feel like I can't leave it now. Do you know what I mean? I've started. I can um, talk and talk. And <laughs> so I mean, oh, this is actually divine. It's. It's really, it's really good. I will, I would. Wait, how much did you pay for this? Four pound. See, although that's kind of expensive, I feel like a lot of cakes that you buy actually in cafes and stuff like that. That like, obviously, we've tried quite a few now. Yeah. They are like three pound fifty and stuff like that. So it's like they are getting a lot more expensive, and obviously, cost of living crisis. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait, throw that into the Christmas episode. But, but you know what, like. I buy this. I buy this again. Yeah, score out of ten. I'm giving it a solid ten. I mean, like, even though mm. it stuck to my mouth, like, I got like a mouthful of like the filling, and it was just beautiful. I love Bueno, so mm. I'm just a huge lover of it. So I'm giving it, it a is, good solid ten out of ten. It's very um, like it is very thick, but I don't know. I don't know actually. Maybe I'll give it like an eight. I can't. An eight. I know that's not that high, but also. It's it's very I like very like thick and sweet, but 
I don't know, four pounds like Vitex Benny, but it is nice. It is nice. I get it again. I would get it yeah, again. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I mean, like, because I went at night time a few Fair weeks enough. ago, um, and obviously I think that's the best time to go personally. Um, and I got this spiral potato thing, and mm. it was so good. It was like literally a spiral potato on a stick, and I loved it. It was just so nice, and like I love it at night time as well when they've got all the lights on, and yeah. they've just got everything. And obviously you've got everyone like walking around with like a hot beer or yeah. uh, a hot chocolate. I just love it. So you guys know what's coming up next. That's right, our little agony aunt rant and gossip. This week we're going to have a look at some crisp traditions. Earlier today, we asked you guys a question at home on our Instagram about what your Christmas and holiday traditions are. So, what's your Christmas traditions? Greg? My Christmas tradition is more of a Christmas Eve tradition. Okay. So every Christmas Eve, I get a new pair of pajamas. We do like, the same. Um, sorry, my voice went really weird then. Um, and I get like I have a bath or shower, proper nice, like about eight o'clock. Oh, yeah. I have a takeaway as well because that's what you do. Because you, you like you fussing around you know for Christmas dinner you don't have time to make like a toast do out do you so you're just like do you know what I'm just gonna get a takeaway yeah anyway um go to bed about 11 ish with hot chocolate and then I'll watch the Polar Express oh see I feel like everyone's got their Christmas Eve film and for me personally mine's Arthur Christmas every Christmas Eve we watch Arthur Christmas and then on Christmas Day we have to watch It's a Wonderful Life that's uh, that's yeah. the rules of my family so I feel like everyone's got their sort of film. Yeah. But I think for my Christmas Eve, it is like we get our Christmas dramas. And get get that. Christmas that's pajamas. like our early present. And then we have to still, we still put the carrot out. We still put the mince pie out. We're like <laughs> Santa. Um, and then we like have to get out of the, um, scatter the like food for the reindeer to come and put the sign out and sign it before like Santa comes. Yeah. We fully go, we do fully like the whole Christmas Eve night is fully like yeah. structured. Like we've got our little checklist <laughs> to get through before yeah. Rudolph and uh, Santa come to our yeah. house. Um, <laughs> so we asked you guys on our Instagram for some of your Christmas traditions and this one stood out to me the most and it's so funny. Um, it was sent in by Joe. <laughs> um, so it says, I like to stand at the top of the stairs at 1.24am on the 25th of December and scream to stare, scare away Krampus. You are? So it likes to stand at the top of the stairs at 1.24 a.m. on the 25th of December and scream to scare away Krampus. I mean, that's too fair. <laughs> that's a bit of a random... I've not heard that before. I think um, it's... I love it. I love it. I mean, I might start doing that, but I'm scared I'll wake everyone else up in hours. <laughs> yeah, my parents are still probably wrapping presents at that time, so, like, I'm not even kidding. They, they're wrapping presents at, like, 3 a.m. Oh, my God. Um, oh, sorry. I did just realise that I said parents. I meant... Santa. But actually, my parents are still um, wrapping presents at 3 a.m. I feel like Santa comes a bit late to our house. I Fair feel like, yeah. Fair they must have a message system. <laughs> like, we're finished, now you go. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, I actually can't wait for Christmas now. I'm actually so excited. I'm so excited. So, as we said at the start of the show, it's our last show before Christmas. We decided to have a look at the overall winner from our coffee shop visits. So, the overall... So the overall winner. I, for I forgot, actually forgot we didn't do this. We yeah, actually did this I know, I know. I was thinking, I was like, wait, did we even announce? But no, yeah. no. Um, but so we've got a little, a little table. Yay! So the winner was... Chapter One Box. Oh, it's, it's covering it, but it, yeah. was, it is Chapter One Box. <laughs> it's Chapter One Box, and I would definitely recommend going. I'm definitely going to go back and do some study. 100%. I like how it's open till like, a lot later. Yeah, I love I that. Like that. I, I really love that. I mean, um next semester guys the board is getting wiped so we'll yeah. be trying other coffee shops with a new leaderboard yeah we've had some already sent in uh, over on our instagram at blab mouse tv but please get involved and send in anything you want to see on this show of us trying and you know just digger it just like trying to live our best life yeah <laughs> <laughs> so finally our last word for this year was jitty um and so obviously this is our last episode of this this yeah. term. So, uh, Grace, I don't know why I just suddenly stru struggled to say your name. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you think the word jitty means? I think it's similar to mad. I know it's behind us, but she can't think. I'm not allowed to look. It's yeah. I'm, I'm not allowed to look. Um, I think it's similar to mad, where you get like really irritated. That would kind of make sense, actually. I'd never thought about it being yeah. like that. 
but that would kind of make sense. But no, unfortunately, you are wrong. It is a narrow passage between buildings. So there I you go. go. So I, go I mean, on. it's a bit of a way, a weird way of weird word in it. <laughs> I can promise. I promise. I can actually speak. Um, but yeah, so you call it something else, don't you? Yeah, I call it ginnel, which is the same thing. But I mean, I've never heard the ginnel. I've never heard jitter. Yeah. I feel like no one has though, it's definitely like a Derbyshire thing. Yeah, it's definitely a Derbyshire thing. <laughs> so we got, so this is our last episode of Bad Mouse for 2022. Aww. We'll see you all again in 2023. From all the crew here on set, we hope you all have an amazing Christmas. And a Happy New Year! Bye! Bye.